process of writing this book was incredibly therapeutic for me. To go into the subconscious of my mind, to go through the hurts, the pains, the, uh, the, the low times, the low places, and write out of my heart to express value, to express wisdom, and to impart um, value into the lives of people. Um, that, that's really what this book is all about, and this is really just a substratum of my, my testimony, my inspiring story of overcoming cancer. And I said, if I overcame cancer, I can overcome anything and cause others Amen. To, to overcome whatever obstacle or whatever odds that they're facing. So this is, my, my work is very passionate. I say that my aspiration is inspiration. And I do that as a teacher at University High School, working with uh, uh, young people, uh, especially trying to turn the tide, especially living here in the city of Detroit, 75% of young people those who start the ninth grade do not graduate. Something's wrong. We've got to redefine and reinvigorate value into the lives of young people. My second book, I don't have that with me, but that is entitled Collections of Reflections, Symphonies of Strength. And that's a three volume set of poetry that I put together um, through there's just the various trials and tribulations that I endeavor, turning my uh, tears to trophies, turning my stumbling blocks into stepping stones. And this one here, uh, my third one, my most controversial to date, I would say, uh, this is entitled um, Econ the Icon. Mm. And I really just took, of course, the first four letters of my name, Eddie Connor. And by the way, my website is eddieconnor.com, C-O-N-N-O-R, please, O-R. <laughs> uh, if you do E-R, you'll find a psychic, I'm not a psychic. So C-O-N-N-O-R. <laughs> Dot com. I'm telling you, I'm telling you now. And this book, Eddie Econ the Icon, from pop culture to President Barack Obama. I said, you know what, if everybody's making money off the 44th President of the United States, why don't I just find my little niche too? And so uh, I wrote this book really to redefine what it means to be an icon in a celebrity-driven culture. Our culture tells us that we are who we are based on what we have. I say, no, no, no. Your true value is not in what you have, but your true value is in who you are. You strip me of everything that I have, do I have value? Do I have integrity? Do I have ingenuity? Do I have sagacity of spirit? Can I overcome the obstacles? Can I look my situation in the face and say, I'm going to overcome my situation? Or will I just capitulate and surrender and just give up? And that's what we have to do. With all that's going on in our city, with all that's going on in our own microscopic worlds, what can we do to overcome the obstacles? And so that's what I wrote this book about, this third book, reinvesting and reinvigorating value in your life. Whether you got uh, a Benz or a couple of friends, you still gotta know who you are. Whether you got Prada or Nada, you still gotta know who you are. And so that's where I come from in this book, and I, I'm doing a show as well on CBS CW50 entitled Street Beat, where we're just um, providing positive um, spotlight to the city and finding individuals, finding organizations that are really trying to make a difference uh, in our world. I really want you to, to support a young brother and, and help me out to spread the message of healing and hope and perseverance and uh, elevation and inspiration. And you can go to my website once again, eddieconnor.com, E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R.com. And I, when you go there, I don't want you to just go there, I want you to sign up, because I'm giving daily inspiration. And I uh, just want you to create a username, provide some uh, information about yourself, and I want to touch base with you. All right, thank you so much.